Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to go from making absolutely no money as a level one to making over $10 million every single day in GTA Online. You want the cars, the jets, the ladies, and the lifestyle, but you just don't know where to start? Well, don't worry. In today's video, I got you covered. I designed this guide so you can easily follow along step by step as we go from a level one to making $10 million every single day becoming the king of Los Santos. Let's hop into it. All right, so starting off the video, we are going to be going over the best criminal career to take if you are on the next gen version of GTA 5. If you are not on the next gen version, don't worry. By the end of this video, you will still be making $10 million every single day, whether you are on next gen or not. However, if you are on next gen, this first part is for you. And the first thing you guys are going to want to do when you get met with this criminal career screen is you are going to want to choose the gun runner career. The reason why you want to start with the gun runner is because all of these other businesses are businesses that we are going to acquire later in the game, but they are not businesses that are going to help us out early on. The gun runner, we can make good money from right away. And this is the business that we are going to choose starting off. Now, as you can see, we go with the Chumash bunker. And then for the upgrade, you're going to want to go with the very first one, the bunker upgrade pack A. This is because it gives you that equipment upgrade, which is extremely important. Now on the vehicle screen, this is where a lot of people make a mistake, but trust me on this, you're going to want to save as much money as possible here. Just take either the 35K white truck, 30K blue truck, or take the Vapid Bobcat XL for 23K. On the weapon screen, make sure to take all of the ones I have selected here with the white check mark. All of the ones I have checked are extremely useful and you're actually going to be using all of them. So make sure that you pick those up. The only one that's useful that I did not check is the sticky grenades, which I should have checked. So make sure you pick those up as well. And as you can see, we're gonna be starting off our career with $761,000. That's why we do not take one of the expensive vehicles. Once you're done with that, create your character and check out of jail. See you soon. All right, so now that we're fresh out of jail, we just remembered that some ballers were talking crap when we were locked up. So we gotta show them that even though we're level one, we mean business. Once you've dealt with those pesky ballers, run straight to your bunker and hide because we just got out of jail and we are not going back today. Once you get inside your bunker for the first time, you may wanna consider going and grabbing yourself a snack because you're about to get hit with a very long, unskippable cutscene. But what I recommend doing instead is heading to the link in the description to the Social Club website and enabling two-step verification on your account. Now it says that it'll give you 500,000, but for some reason it gave me a million. Now it's going to take a few days in real life for you to receive this money, so don't worry. This money is not required for anything that we're gonna be doing in this guide. By the time you're done doing that, the cutscene should be over. You're gonna have to do a supply mission to set up your bunker, and now your bunker will be generating some passive income for you. We're gonna be showing you everything about the bunker very soon in this guide, but for now, just head up to the laptop, go to manage staff, and make sure that it is set to assign staff to manufacturing. You do not want it on research or both because manufacturing is what is going to be generating you passive income. From there, go to buy upgrades and buy the staff upgrade. This is gonna drain your bank account, but trust me, this is a very important investment because it is going to generate your passive income a lot faster and it's gonna be of a higher quality, so it's gonna make you more money. Now, the next thing you guys are gonna wanna do is open your phone, go to travel and transport, and go to war stock, cash, and carry. Scroll all the way down to latest stock, and you're gonna claim these free vehicles. So the best one is obviously this Duke of Death. This is an armor vehicle that's gonna help you out a lot on missions. And I don't know if you guys remember, but the Karuma was an option to choose on that criminal enterprise screen that would have cost $700,000. The Karuma is just like the Duke of Death. However, the Duke of Death is free. So make sure you claim that. Then head over to Legendary Motorsport and sort by price and claim these free vehicles here as well. These vehicles are actually pretty good. The free ones, the Elegy and then the Chameleon, they're fast and they're gonna help you get around the map faster early on in the game. To get these vehicles, if you're new to the game, all you need to do is pull up your phone, go to mechanic and you can request the vehicle from there. By now, you guys should be receiving an email from vanderland at ifind.com. If you haven't gotten this email yet, don't worry, just drive around for a few minutes and then you'll receive it. Once you get this email, this is going to be the very first treasure hunt that we are going to do, which is for $250,000. Open the email and you're gonna see an image and this image is gonna be the location of the very first clue for the treasure. Go to the question mark on the map and search around for the clue. Once you find the clue, you're gonna see a note just like this. 
basically this note is saying you got trolled buddy so you're gonna have to head to the next location which is gonna be the next clue for the treasure just head to the question mark on your map investigate the area and you're gonna find the first clue now again this is not going to be the exact same location for you but i will be leaving a link in the description to a guide showing all the locations now when you get to the second clue, you're going to find this little gun case and then you're going to want to head to the location of the third clue. Now on the way to the third clue, I came across something that's very important for beginners to know. I came across a little robbery. It's a little red dot that popped up on the map signaling a random event. And by stopping this lowly scum from stealing this money from an innocent salon lady, we're going to be able to make the fastest $20,000 we ever made. Honestly, I don't know how that lady has so much to tip, but I'm not asking any questions. Back on track finding the third clue. As you can see, this is going to be in a cave for us. So we're gonna run into the cave and we're gonna see this guy who's been absolutely butchered. And I mean, honestly, that's just some S tier gore if I must say so myself. From there, you are going to unlock the location of the treasure. So just head to your map and then scroll up to where the little gold crate is. And then once you get there, you might turn invisible, but that's okay because now you own the double action revolver. Now, to get the $250,000 reward, we're going to need to go get 50 headshots. So to do this, we're gonna wanna head to the nearest convenience store and get our first headshot on the cashier. Steal the money from the cash register and then just hide out behind the counter and get as many headshots as you can until you get 50 headshots. Once you get 50 headshots, you'll get the $250,000 reward. Immediately following that, I noticed that G's cash was nearby, so I went and picked it up for an easy $18,000. As soon as I picked that up, I went straight back to the bunker because 48 minutes had passed and it was time to deliver some excess weapon parts. Now you guys are going to want to make sure you're setting out a timer early on in your run for 48 minutes every time you do this because every 48 minutes you are going to be able to get a free $50,000. This is essentially a free $50,000 because all you need to do is drive this truck from your bunker from point A to point B. It's going to be a different ammunition usually every time. but. This is extremely fast, it's extremely easy, and it's $50,000 every time. After all that, if you are on next gen, I recommend going and buying a Banshee. So head over to Legendary Motorsport and buy yourself a Banshee for $105,000. The Banshee is the third fastest car in the game and with this car we could do the house time trials and the normal time trials which will add up to three hundred fifty thousand dollars every single week to unlock the special works time trials you're gonna want to head over to the ls car meet once you're there watch this unskippable cutscene, make friends with these knockoff fast and furious characters and then head up to mimi and buy an ls car meet membership from her for fifty thousand dollars once you've bought that membership you're going to want to head up to how's vehicle because how's vehicle is actually going to get you a 1.8 million dollar upgrade on your banshee for free which is needed for the time trials now once you complete this time trial in his car you'll see in the bottom left of your screen discount unlock how special works upgrade so that's the 1.8 million dollar upgrade i was telling you about just drive your banshee back to the ls car meet then get back in your vehicle and press left on the d-pad to access the vehicle workshop once you're in the vehicle workshop you're just going to go to hsw upgrade and you'll see instead of 1.84 million it is free all because you just completed that time trial and that is now going to make this an HSW vehicle. And then from there, just purchase the HSW engine tune. All you need to do is purchase this HSW engine tune and you'll now be fast enough to not only complete the normal time trials, but more importantly, the HSW time trials. These time trials aren't too hard, but you will need this Banshee with the upgrade to do it. So hopefully you're following along step by step. As you can see, once we beat it, we're gonna get another $250,000 which puts us at over $600,000 earned so far in this video. From there, we're gonna go straight to the next time trial, but first, we notice that there's a stash house right next to it. So we're gonna do the stash house first. To do the stash house, just take out the thugs inside, get the combo off the wall, and then open the safe. And if it gives you money, you're gonna get $30,000. If it does not give you money, you're gonna get supplies for your business instead. Getting back on track, we now go to the normal time trial. And just like the HSW time trial, you can only do these once per week. Once you complete the normal time trial, you'll be given another $102,000, totaling $350,000 just from those two time trials alone, putting us at over $730,000 earned. 
keeping the momentum going, head right back to your bunker because by now your supplies level should have ran out. The first thing you wanna do is buy some more supplies so that way you can keep earning passive income and then head over to sell stock and then sell the supplies to Los Santos for $210,000. Now you guys are gonna wanna make sure you do this every time your supplies level runs out and you're gonna wanna make sure you do it before you resupply again because otherwise it'll require more than one vehicle and you will not be able to do it solo. As you can see, because we are doing the sell mission at $210,000 after just one supply bar, they only give us one delivery vehicle, which makes it very easy to do the deliveries as long as you're in an invite only session. And as you can see, we already racked up another $210,000. Now again, we want to keep the momentum going and 48 minutes have already passed. So what we're going to do is change our spawn location to the bunker, go to another invite only session. So it teleports us back to the bunker. And then we're going to do another one of these excess parts missions where you just simply drive the supplies to ammunition for an easy $50,000. Right after that's over, you're going to want to head to this R on the map in Sandy Shores. Make sure it's this one because there's two that are right next to each other. And this is going to start the first dose missions where we get to meet probably the most annoying character in the game. Uh, I can tell you've seen some shit. After that unskippable cutscene, just take out a bunch of these low life junkies and then deliver this RV to what will now be called the Freak Shop. We get $15,000 just from that, plus an additional $50,000 because it is our first time doing the first dose missions. And you'll see that now a D will pop up next to the Freak Shop where you can continue the work for DAX. Now these missions are pretty fun, honestly, they're really not that bad and you could get through them pretty quick and each and every single one is going to award you around $10,000 for the mission and then an additional $50,000 on top of it because it is your first time doing these DAX first dose missions. By the time that you complete all these missions, you will earn well over half a million dollars because as you can see at the end of each mission, you get a little bit more money each time and then on top of that, you get the $50,000 bonus. So these are essential for any beginner is definitely something you need to do very early on because this game very early on is about making as much money as you can that way you can make investments that will make you even more money in the long run so as you can see fifteen thousand dollars for this mission and then another fifty thousand dollar first time bonus once you get to the final mission this is where you will actually be stealing the brocade six by six which is going to allow you to open up an acid lab for more passive income. Now at this point in the run, we're not actually going to be setting up the acid lab yet, but by completing this mission, we do unlock that plus an additional $250,000 for completing the final mission, which means in total, the first dose missions got us over $500,000 total. After that, much more than 48 minutes had passed, so you already know it was time to do another very quick delivery mission from the bunker. Just take the weapons to the ammunition and get a free $50,000 once again. Now that we are done with that, it was time to start our second treasure hunt, which is going to give us another $250,000. Head to this location on the map and you're going to see this bloody hand on the wall. Investigate it to start the treasure hunt. And now that we have a lot of extra money in our pocket after doing all the different missions that we've done, now what we're going to do is we're going to open up our interaction menu. We're going to go to Securo Serve VIP and go to VIP Vehicles and we're going to want to choose the Super Volito. Now, as long as we don't wreck it or as long as we don't restart our game, we will be allowed to keep requesting it for free. Now, this is going to be a pretty fast helicopter that you're going to be able to use to get around the map a lot faster, which is really going to help you with a lot of these different missions and treasure hunts. So the next thing you want to do is fly to this location on the map and you will see a machete on the wall. Now, this is going to be the second clue. So from there, you could just head straight to the third clue. The third clue is going to be at this location on the map. It's going to be by this weird tire on the ground with the rocks and stuff. Investigate that and then you're going to want to head to location number four. Location number four is right here on the map and it's going to be this can you find me text on the wall. Once you investigate that, however, the fifth clue is going to be random. Here are the different locations it could be at on your screen. That's location one. This is location two. This is location three. And four. Now, if it's not at any of those, it will be at the one that it was at for me, which is location five, which will be under this bridge in a van. 
and no matter which of the five locations it ends up being at it will be a van of some sorts just like this and then after that you will receive a text message from the serial killer this is the final part of the treasure hunt and to complete this you will need to wait for the serial killer during these times that i post on the screen now what I like to do is during that time window, I like to go to this runway and just kind of wait around. You could go AFK if you want. Just make sure you're ready because out of nowhere, he's going to come up on you just like this. <laughs> and it's kind of like a jump scare in a way if you're not ready for it. But once you kill him, boom, just like that, you will unlock the Navy revolver. And you will also receive part of the reward right away. You'll get $50,000 and to get the other $200,000, as you can see, you will need to get 50 kills, not 50 headshots, but just 50 kills. So all you need to do is just do the same method I did before. And this is actually a really good weapon. It's pretty much a one shot kill for everyone. And once you get those 50 kills, you will be awarded with the additional $200,000 for a total of $250,000 once again for the second treasure hunt. And after that, it's time to start the third treasure hunt. So to trigger this, head to the M on the map and you should receive a text from Mod saying that very shortly he's going to be hitting you up with a bounty. So just fly around for a couple minutes and then he will hit you up with a text like this saying that he's got the first bounty for you. Just open the text, head to your inbox, and you'll see a picture of the target and you'll get a location with a highlighted area, meaning that the target is somewhere within that highlighted area. Once you find them, honestly, just kill them because if you do the whole capture thing and take them back to mod, it takes a lot longer and you don't really get that much more money for it. So honestly, just save yourself a lot of time, kill the target and then fly around until mod texts you with the next location. It really doesn't take that long in between each target. I'd say maybe it takes a minute or two. So it really does not take long at all. And each time that you get the next target, just fly there right away. Find them within the highlighted area and take them out. And again, honestly, I would not recommend taking them back to mod. You only get around like $10,000 more than if you were to just kill them. And when you just kill them, it saves you a lot of time. Now, my only other tip for this is if you're having a hard time finding the target, I will have a link down below in the description where you can see all possible spawn locations for these bounty targets. That way you can easily find them and take them out. Once you get to the last target, this is going to unlock the location of the stone hatchet. So just take out the final target and then shortly after you'll be receiving a text from Mod saying that he has a little reward for you which is the stone hatchet. To find the stone hatchet all you need to do is go on your map and go to the gold chest just like the other treasure hunts. And then once you get there, you'll find a little case just like this with the stone hatchet inside. Now this is probably the easiest of the three treasure hunts because all you need to do is take out the bounty targets which are easy to find. And then to receive the 250,000 with the stone hatchet, you only need to get 25 kills. Now this might seem like a lot because it's a hatchet, but don't worry, I got you covered with the method. Just head to Vinewood outside the movie theater where you see me on the map, and then you'll see a huge crowd of people usually every single time. So you can see once it's complete, you get the 250,000 just like that. And just like that, we're at over 2.2 million in the bank already in this run. And that is not even including all of the investments that we've already made throughout this video. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is head back to the freak shop because you should have unlocked the last dose missions by now. The last dose missions are very similar to the first dose missions, but these ones pay even more money and they're even easier, in my opinion, to complete. So they're DAX missions just like before, but instead of first dose, they're last dose by now. You should have unlocked these and these missions like I said they're pretty easy especially now that you have the navy revolver it really just makes everything else so easy in this game because pretty much everyone as you can see is a one hit and there's really no damage fall off so you could just one hit from across the map with this thing and it makes all the missions that much easier so as you can see once we finish the mission we get 7500 from the mission itself and then for the first time bonus of completing the mission we get a hundred thousand dollars and we're going to get that for each one of these missions as you can see, once you complete each mission, you'll get a call immediately from Dax, so there's nothing you need to do in between missions. You'll just get another call to start the next one straight away. And then with these, like I said, just use the Navy revolver, use your Banshee to get around quick or a helicopter. And at the end of each mission, at the first couple, you'll get 7,500, but then it'll start going up as you progress. I think there's five missions total. And as you can see, we got another $100,000. We finished this one. This one gives us $12,000 plus an additional $100,000. And then this next one gives us $18,000 plus an additional 100,000. So you can see how quick these missions add up. 
and then the last mission you get rewarded with even more money twenty thousand dollars from just the mission alone and then the first time bonus is once again another hundred thousand dollars so this is the only time you're ever going to play through these missions because you're obviously playing for that first time bonus but by now as you can see we got almost three million dollars in the bank and you get rewarded with this electric ocelot vehicle which is pretty fast so unfortunately you can't sell it for any money but it's just a nice little reward for completing the last dose missions but now guys after doing all of that the treasure hunts, the bunker missions, and the first and last dose missions, and the time trials, it is now officially time to start the Cayo Perico heist. This is a heist that you can do solo, and you can earn between one to two million dollars every single time you do this heist. Now, we're also gonna be combining this heist with the agency later on, which is going to be making us an additional one million dollars every single time we complete it, while the Cayo Perico heist is on cooldown. So that's the game plan. Now it's time to start with step one. The first thing you guys want to do is head over to the Diamond Casino and you're going to want to go to the Music Locker, which is on the side of the Diamond Casino. There you're going to meet Miguel Madrazo and he's pretty much going to tell you that he wants you to fly out to Cayo Perico to rob Mr. Rubio, who has some files that he does not want him to have access to. What you're going to need to do is to actually do this heist. Once you watch the cutscene, you're going to have to go to Warstock Cash and Carry and you're going to want to buy the Kasaka. The Kasaka is going to give you access to the Kyle Perico heist. Don't add any upgrades, just buy it for 2.2 million. By this point, if you've done everything throughout this guide, you should have enough money to purchase this. So that's exactly what you're going to want to do. Purchase a Kasaka and then fly out to the Kasaka to start the Cayo Perico heist. Although you can do this solo, you can only do it once every three hours, which is why we are also going to be combining it with the agency in step two. Now, I would break down step by step how to do the Cayo Perico heist and get the most money out of it in this video, but unfortunately, that would just make the video way too long. So don't worry, I have a guide link down below in the description already uploaded on my channel showing you guys exactly how to do the Cayo Perico heist and how to get the most money out of it every single time. It's very important that you watch this because there are quite literally a million different ways that you can do this heist. So you're gonna wanna make sure you check out that video so that way you're not wasting any time and you're getting the most money possible out of this every time that you do it. As you can see in this particular heist, I got the tequila, which is actually the worst item you can get. And we still walk away with 1.45 million. As you can see, just the loot alone gave us 1.35, but then by completing the elite challenge, we get that additional $100,000, which puts us at $1.45 million. And we just did it in 11 minutes. So obviously you do have to do setups. And that's another reason why you want to watch my guide. So that way you can see the best way to do the setups and how to do them efficiently. But we walk away with the 1.45 million and we got a $200,000 bonus, I think, because it was the first time that we did it on hard mode. So you also are going to get some bonuses the first couple of times you do this heist as well. Now, the next thing you guys are going to want to do, this is step two. You guys are going to want to go buy the agency because the agency is going to unlock the VIP contracts. Every time you complete the Kyle Perico heist, you will need to wait three hours. So you're going to want to do an agency contract while you are waiting for the Kyle Perico heist to cool down. So the first thing you guys want to do is you want to go buy this agency location for $2 million. And then once you get there, you're going to be met by our old pal Franklin Clinton. And you're going to be doing some contracts, not only for him, but for Dr. Dre himself. So what you guys want to do first is you want to head over to this computer and you're going to want to do a security contract. The security contract is what's going to unlock the VIP contract. And you can do any one of these security contracts and they're actually pretty good money. Now, the best ones that, in my opinion, you could do are the rescue operation. They're pretty quick and easy to do, especially when you have a helicopter. And as you can see right here, once we complete that contract, we get the money. And now we should be getting a message from Franklin shortly after that is going to allow us to start the VIP contract, which is going to give us the $1 million from Dr. Dre. And as you can see, as soon as we left the building, we do get a call from Franklin telling us to meet him at the golf course. This is what you're going to have to do the first time you do the VIP contract because you're going to need to be introduced to Dr. Dre. Go beat up some of these thugs that were talking smack 
and then you're going to be rewarded with some money and you're going to be able to start the VIP contract. As you can see for that introductory mission, we got $10,000 plus an additional $50,000 first time bonus. Now, the next thing you guys are going to want to do is head back to the agency and you should be met with this cutscene where Dr. Dre is going to be telling you that he needs to get his stolen phones back because there's some music on there that he does not want to get leaked. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to head straight over to the computer and you will now have access to the VIP contract. Now the very first thing you will need to do is the setup mission where you'll have to head over to the FIB and you'll have to get the hard drive that's going to show you the approximate locations of the different phones that were stolen from Mr. Mr. Dre. This is a fairly simple mission. All you need to do is just simply steal the hard drive and then return it back to the agency. Once you're back at the agency, you will now see that you have access to the whereabouts of the three phones, which are the Nightlight Leak, the High Society Leak, and the South Central Leak. Each one of these leaks will have three total missions that you will need to do which makes it nine total. But once you finish those nine total missions, you'll be awarded with the $1 million plus all of the additional money you made along the way from the security contracts. You will need to do security contracts in between each setup mission to keep advancing the VIP contract, but you will get the money of course from those as well. So it all adds up to being around 1.2 to $1.4 million every time you do complete the VIP contract. On top of that, as a first time bonus, as you can see, you get $100,000 for each phone that you get back for Dr. Dre. So that's gonna total an additional $300,000 that you get the first time you do the VIP contract. Now, while you're doing the VIP contract, at some point, Franklin will hit you up and you will unlock what is called the payphone hits. A payphone hit is one of the easiest ways to make money in this game. And once you unlock this, you are gonna wanna be doing this consistently. Remember how every 48 minutes we were doing the ammo deliveries before? Well, with this, you are going to want to be doing this every 20 minutes. So there's only a 20 minute cooldown for this. And all you're going to have to do is call up Franklin, request a payphone hit once the cooldown ends. And then you just need to go complete this assassination bonus. For example, for this payphone hit, the assassination bonus was to steal a taxi and then pick up the target in the taxi posing as a taxi driver and then just simply drowning the target inside the taxi. So all we had to do, as you see, pick up the target in the taxi, drive it right off the dock into the water. And that is how we're going to get the bonus. And you need to do this bonus if you want to make this worthwhile. As you can see, the bonus paid $70,000 on top of the $15,000 base payment, which gives us $85,000 in just four minutes now once again every 20 minutes you will be able to request another payphone hit so make sure that you are doing this to get a consistent $85,000 every 20 minutes now for the final mission of the VIP contract you're gonna have to take down Johnny Guns who is responsible for taking Dr. Dre's music and leaking it out so once you take down Johnny Guns you just you simply what, take him out to Dr. Dre and let Dre show him why you don't Ass F with Dre okay this is a world premiere right here right now after you listen to that world premiere exclusive that Dr. Dre shows you after you take out Johnny Guns, you will be rewarded the $1 million and you can do this every single time that the cooldown is over. And as you can see, you get once again, another additional $250,000 for completing the VIP contract. So you're going to get almost $2 million the first time that you do the VIP contract for Dr. Dre. And that is pretty much the money making method that you are going to be able to do consistently now. As you can see during the VIP contract, I was contacted by Pavel telling me that I can do the Cayo Perico heist once again. So as you can see, every time that you finish up a contract, you'll be able to do a Cayo Perico. And then every time you finish a Cayo Perico, you'll be able to go do a contract. Now, while the contract is on cooldown while you're doing the missions. You can also do payphone hits for $85,000 each and every single time, every 20 minutes. On top of that, you'll have your bunker generating you passive income, which is going to give you $210,000 each time you sell, as well as $50,000 for each time that you do an ammo delivery to an ammunition. Now, the next step is to start our passive income end game. Now, this is going to be generating you even more passive income than just from your bunker because 
we're going to start buying other businesses that are going to generate us a lot of passive income every single day in GTA Online. The first thing you guys want to do is you're going to want to go buy a clubhouse. Buy this one that's up in Sandy Shores, the 47 Algonquin Boulevard one, because it is only $210,000 and do not purchase any add-ons for it. Once you've purchased that clubhouse, head up to the clubhouse and you're going to want to go to the laptop and access the open road. Once you're on the open road, you're going to want to purchase the cheapest property for each one of these businesses. You're going to want to purchase the cheapest coke business, the cheapest meth business, the cheapest counterfeit cash business, weed and forgeries. So you're going to want to make sure that you buy all of these because we're going to need these for the nightclub. Now, the first thing you'll need to do once you purchase these businesses is you will need to head to each one. And this is the only time you will have to head to any of these businesses if you want to. You do not need to consistently go to these businesses, but you need to go to each one the first time that you buy them so that way you can set them up. It's just a simple point A to point B pick up and drop off mission. And that way you can set up these businesses so that way we can purchase a nightclub and make money from all of these businesses at the same time so what you guys are going to want to do is Do as you see me do here. You're going to want to go to your VIP abilities and set your organization as a ghost organization. Once that timer runs out, call up Lester and go off the radar. By now, that should have bought you enough time to where you can complete the rest of the deliveries. And then you will be awarded not just the 1.35 million that it said before, but you're going to get that percent bonus for each player that was in the public lobby, making it that much more worth it because that turned our 1.35 million into 1.86 million, which is absolutely crazy because it basically just 
gave us an extra 500 plus thousand dollars just because there was players in the lobby of course this does come with some risk but i think the risk is well worth it the next thing you guys want to do is head to the acid lab it is finally time to set up the acid lab what you're going to want to do for this is you're going to want to go inside the freak shop and purchase it for seven hundred fifty thousand dollars now unfortunately the acid lab is not included in the nightclub so you will need to manage this business separately but it is highly highly worth it once you purchase the acid lab for seven hundred fifty thousand dollars you will need to start doing work for dax in order to upgrade the acid lab business now of course the acid lab just like all of your businesses is definitely worth the upgrade because it's going to make the value of your product higher and it's going to accrue the product faster so you're going to need to request work from dax and do what's called these fooligan jobs these will pay you a pretty good amount fifty thousand dollars for each one and you're going to need to do 10 of these fooligan missions to be able to upgrade the acid lab as you can see right here we are now able to purchase the equipment upgrade for $250,000 after completing 10 of those Fooligan missions. And that is going to instantly make the product a lot more valuable. And then once per day, you're gonna to wanna to head over to this production bench, and this is going to boost the production of your acid lab for 30 minutes this is the only business that has anything like this and it is definitely worth staying on top of because it is going to help you create product much faster as you can see in the top left you could do this once per day and you want to stay on top of this because it's going to produce the acid at a much faster rate so once your acid lab is full, you're going to want to head over to the acid lab. And once again, I recommend doing this in a public lobby. Now, the reason why is because, of course, like I showed you with the nightclub, it's going to give you so much more money, 2% extra per player that's in that public lobby. But if you're scared to do it in a public lobby, I suggest just doing it in an invite only for the first time. That way you get a feel for it. And then the second time, do it in a public lobby. Now, as you can see right here, when we start the cell mission, we're going to be on this motorcycle. And that means that we're going to want to make sure that we utilize that ghost organization immediately because we are very vulnerable on this motorcycle so in the bottom right you can see the global signal is going to go out and what i'm going to do is i'm going to hover over this ghost organization in the vip abilities as soon as that timer runs out i'm going to activate it once you've activated ghost organization you just need to open your map and make sure you're going to the nearest drop off point from wherever you're at and then once you've made all the deliveries and lost the cops you'll see instead of getting 335,000, we get 502 thousand dollars for selling that acid so that's why doing it in a public lobby is so much more worth it because you make so much more money and then of course what's nice about the acid lab is you can always call up mutt and you can actually resupply your acid lab from wherever you're at and see the supply level and the product value so you don't even need to go to the acid lab to manage it and that is why even though this isn't part of the nightclub it is definitely worth your time and something that you definitely need to stay on top of especially because of the fact that you can just manage it remote right from your phone and with all that being said guys that is it you should now be a professional at making money in gta online as you can see wrapping up the guide we are at a level 37 and we have made 17.1 million dollars throughout the course of this run and now that you have your nightclub business up and running and the acid lab now you'll be able to make $10 million every single day when you combine those two things with doing multiple Kyle Preco heists and multiple VIP agency contracts along with the payphone hits as well. So with that all being said, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful and I hope that you are now well on your way to becoming the king of Los Santos, making tons of money every single day in GTA Online. And if you found this video helpful, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey.